Generic greetings and welcome to my little blacksmith shop. That is actually totally correct as well. I am the proprietor of one generic unit of blacksmithing facility and it is on the small side. And also it's the name of the game. This is a game prototype, alpha version 0.073 as you can see from the bottom right. And it's also a pay what you want at the moment. So links in the description, you can check it out yourself if you do so desire. I get sent games and recommendations every day, either via email, Twitter, people leaving comments in videos. And once you have all of those three aligned so once you get recommendations or a game sent to you via all three mediums I generally check them out and that's why we are here to check this game out now I haven't played it this is gonna be a bit of a blind playthrough but people seem to like those and also it's probably a little bit more interesting for me because I can figure things out as I go either way I figured out how to move around because oh my good grief I've got no torso but I have got legs um, either way yes you can see there's some things on the wall telling us how to move stuff so right click uh, right click and left click to fling stuff see for crouch that's heresy I normally use control I'm sure you can change the options somehow yeah there's a control setting there but anyway uh, you've also got rotor objects and apparently I can I can pick up a copper ingot through the wall okay uh, and there's some other stuff like interact and uh, reparts radial selection menu uh, yeah there is right that doesn't really do anything okay let's just go outside and um, oh god great. that's 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 walk and that's sprint Obviously, this guy has not done his cardio. Uh, right, so what's this here? This is a letter, I believe. Let's pick it up and we'll rotate it round. It says door. No, come on. Um, there we go. Credits, music, and thanks for all the donated. Thank you. No problem at all. Uh, that can go in there and we'll just leave it in the back. Right, so shop is closed. Should we have a check outside? Ooh, very colourful with a nice pop-in tree. That's all very, very, very low res, but uh, stylized and all of that. It's very green. Very green. Anyway, let's go back inside because that's outside and that's where madness lies. Let's have another look around. We've got a workbench with some grips. We'll just put them aside. We've got... Um, what's that there? That is something we can pick up. We'll just drop it down and... Oh! It seems to be some sort of blueprint. Can we rotate rate it round? Yes, we can. Although the rotate function in this game is fairly terrible. It looks like if you, if you let go of um, alt... It, it puts it back to where it was. Like that, which I don't like. Um, we'll put it there. So it's like a, some sort of pole arm, sword, hammer, and there's some numbers as well. I don't know what those are. Uh, I also noticed these weapons on the outside. Uh, sorry, on the on the wall. As you can see, we've got one and a sword display only, great hammer display only. They're all display only. I guess it's to just show you what sort of things you can make, which is very, very cool. And we've got a torch you can apparently put out. Hmm. I don't know why you would want to do that, but uh, hey-ho. Uh, we've also got some money, which is 21 generic units of currency. Looks like we've got some order form or something that's apparently very shiny. Oh, not just my, my reflection from, from that. Not my shadow. That's right. And in here we've got, it looks like some sort of furnace. And, oh, read first. Parts radial menu selection is Z. We've already figured this out. Uh, allow you to choose which parts are being created on the anvil. Okay, I'm guessing that is the anvil. Well, it is an anvil. I can tell because it's anvil shaped, as in uh, it's also an anvil. And this is our furnace, I guess, with no coals in it. Uh, we've also got something on the bottom here which says, um, oh, it's like an instruction manual. So it says, one ingot bar is short blade, two ingots is blade and hammer, three is a great uh, blade stroke hammer. Click on parts, ingots to change its shape, and then click to cycle through different ones. Okay, let's just pick up an ingot, and that's the wrong button. Pick it up, and then should we just dump it in there? There we go. Is it hot? It's not hot. Oh, I'm probably going to have to turn the anvil on by um, using the bellows. And that should, yeah, that's going to hopefully heat up the ingot. Which it isn't. Maybe it has to go on the back. Oh, there we go. It is heated. Right, let's just pick it up with our bare hands and then put it onto the anvil. And there you go. So, do we just, do we just bash it? Yes, we do just bash it. Yeah, that's definitely getting hit. And we now have a heated copper sharp blade. Heated copper sharp blade with two spikes. Am I am I bashing this down to nothing? That is a heated copper sharp blade, and if I hit it once, it's going to disappear. No. No, it actually grows in size. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, should we just quench it? And there we go. We now have a heated, a cooled copper sharp blade. I'm guessing if I take it to the workbench, I can connect it to things. So we'll rotate, rate it round. The rotate is fairly terrible, as I've mentioned. Um, do we just put like a small hand grip on it and just... Do, does it just connect together? Do we have to bash it? 
Nope. Do you just connect it like, like that? Yes, you do. I've created a copper dagger. Sweet. Look at that. So if someone comes in the door, you can just sort of, you know, yeah, yeah. If they're trying to, in fact, yeah, they might come and try and steal things. So I'm just going to keep it under the desk, just in case that happens. Right. You know what? I think I'm going to open shop then. So open it up, and I think apparently you click on here. Actually, well, let's have a look around first before we do that. We've got, and it looks like there's some portals around here. I'm guessing this is prime real estate. That says, click me, I will do that in a moment. Um, yeah, prime real estate because people are coming through the portals and whatnot. Uh, we've also got a house up there and some sort of shack over there. I'll have an explore of those later. Apparently, I can click on this and... Oh, we can enter a shop name. Um, generic blacksmithing facility. Facilitate, apparently, because we can't put a Y on the end. Okay, so it's going to be facility then. There you go. Job done. Facilitate because there's only one of. Okay, so we will uh, open the shop and right. Is it? Do they come and buy things? I really don't know. I'm assuming they're going to come and buy uh, this thing. Maybe uh, if they're assuming they want a want a uh, short sword. It's actually still separate parts. See, cool copper short blade and one hand grip. I'm guessing that you can break them down. I'm just not too sure how. Anyway, it looks like someone's charging towards me. I'm going to get ready just in case he is going to try and rob me and he's going to get a big surprise. I'm going to say, hey, hold this. There you go. Gone. Um, so this is Waffen. Give me a great sword now. What? Well, where's your manners? Were you dragged up? Great sword. Okay. How do how do we make a great sword? Let's check over here. Um, oh, that's a great sword there. Look, display only. That's fairly big and it's got a long handle and also a guard on it. Um, you don't have to put pommels on, which is interesting. It looks like it starts with a pommel, yeah. Alright, so a great sword, um, our great blade stroke hammer is three ingots. So I'm guessing we're going to go one, two, three. Turn on the bellows. There we go. And we'll just check to see if we've got everything in stock. There's a 200 grip. Uh, nothing under the workbench. Um, oh, hang on. Is that? Ah, some guards. Right, we'll put them over here then. Put that there, and we, we know we needed a 200 guard. It looks like a 200 guard. It's about the same size, so we'll put that there. We'll connect that up, and then there we go. We just need to put the blade on it, and we'll just rotate, rotate that round. Um, yep, the rotate is still terrible, and we will pick up these ingots. We'll put one there, we'll put one there, and then finally we'll put one there. Okay, and then we'll just bash them away. So, uh, there you go, and... Uh, yeah, just, just keep bashing away at them, and... Oh, there we go. Looks like you have to keep mousing on them. Can you just keep bashing that? No, 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 no. You have to wait until it finishes its drop of the hammer. And we now have a heated copper blade of large size. And we'll quench it. We're not quenching it in oil. We're just quenching it in water. So it's not um, tempered or anything. Or whatnot. And then we'll just connect it to that because that looks safe. And then we'll just uh, give it to him. Yeah. Missed him. Thank you. I'm assuming he's paid me. Oh, yes, he has. Uh, Warfen, Copper Great Sword, 43 generic units of currency. Oh, right. Okay, I'm, I've got a plan then. Um, I'm guessing that these will only get to temperature and they'll heat up. So we can probably pre... We can probably pre-cook them. Cook them? <laughs> we can pre-fire them. So they are actually heated copper ingots. So we don't have to mess around when someone comes. The problem now is that I've only got this handguard. Uh, I think there is a way to order stuff from this thing. This says place order and you can get ingots, grips and guards. So we'll come to that in a moment. It looks like someone is charging towards it. I'm guessing if I close the door, he'll still come because it does still say shop open. Nah, no, I can't even close the door. Oh, well. Fine, I guess he's coming in. Hi, um, Duncan. Uh, great sword. I'm in a hurry. No, not, not, oh, hello, uh, how, how are you, Arkwright? Oh, I'm f f f f fine, uh, every, uh, how, how are you? Oh, I'm, I'm great, thanks, Dandy. Uh, do you have a great sword, uh, by any chance? Ah, I will just check out the back. Great sword. Uh, so we know it's the same thing, so it's three ingots, so it's going to be preheated. Hang on, we'll pick up one, two, and, oh, it's on the floor, uh, good grief. And then we'll just start bashing away. One, two, three, four... Six, seven, <laughs> that's going to annoy people. And we'll drop it in there. <sighs> Pot luck, innit? Um, why have we got battle music just started? I don't like that. 
I don't like that one bit. Um, either way, we've got 120... Well, we've got two minutes to deal with this. So we need uh, we need a grip. We need a two-hand... Order two-hand grips, one of. And we need a two-hand guards, one of. And we'll place the order and... Oh, a box. Right, do we just... Well, I'm assuming we bash things because that's just the way we do everything in this game. Excellent. We'll just connect those two up. Oh, you can't connect, uh, you can't connect them up. I'm guessing you need to be uh, on here. Uh, well, I'll put that onto there, which is... Oh, good grief. That looked dangerous. Just spin the blade around and, you know, just <laughs> eviscerate me. Um, yeah, that's that's really, really dangerous. Uh, catch! You're welcome. Cool. Money. Right, um, in, in terms of ingots, we're probably running low on ingots. We've only got one ingot. We will put that inside and probably buy another two ingots. So, back ingots and... Oh, you can buy tin, iron, and... Oh, you can buy other ones. Um, I'm guessing then... Let's just buy two copper. I'm guessing then, later on, people will have specific requirements. So, instead of just saying, give me a great sword, it might say, give me a, an, an iron great sword or something. Uh, you can also buy mithril, which is apparently... A th is that a million? Right, obviously, you can't buy mithril. I mean, technically you can, but good luck to you if you can actually afford one of those. Uh, what I might do is break this down. Is it just a simple matter of whacking it on the workbench? Uh, no, it's not. Maybe it's on the anvil or something. Give me a dagger now. Ha yes, no problem at all, sir. There, there you go. Um, Sorted. <laughs> Imagine if I broke that down and then turned around and you went, give me a dagger. <laughs> It'll be a lot of rage, that's for sure. Um, right, so we'll just wait for the next customer, I guess. Um, how much money are we on? 94. Excellent, excellent. So I guess this is just the game. They come in, they ask for something, and you give it to them. I've played many of these, uh, like, uh, blacksmithing game games and shopkeeping type games. In fact, there was a game called Shopkeep, and um, it was all right. It was what it was. But... Um, I find that they are interesting for a while and then just get grindy and whatnot and things like that. I mean, I'm guessing if you had, like, these are fantasy things, so, uh, like, making, putting, like, certain magics into them, like, uh, making it a plus one dagger of penetration or plus five sword of slashing and things like that. Uh, pole arm, I'm in a hurry. Okay, I'll make a pole arm. No problem at all, mate. Pole, pole arm is uh, up there. That's a pole arm. Uh, I'll guess I'll make a... I'll be two ingots, I believe. One and then two. Uh, I believe pole arm, it did say, hang on, uh, pole arm, variant one, variant two. I'm guessing you can do either. So what if we make the one with a hammer? Because I think what you do, it did say you press Z on the radial menu and you can change it to... Ah, yes, you can change it to uh, blunts or blades. So if I change it to blunts, it should make it a blunt hammerhead. At least one hopes. Yep, that's a copper hammerhead. It's essentially just a block. That's all it is. <laughs> Probably a lot easier to make than uh, the other stuff. So let's just drop that down. And depth perception failure. And we will buy ourselves a grip. And it'll be a pole arm grip. And place the order. This will be a long box. Yeah, it is a long box. I don't know what sort of delivery server it is, but, uh, but it's quite quick, isn't it? And it's also very, very unwieldy to have this go around the place. And No, no, no. Don't lose it under the sofa. Sofa? Under the bench. And um, there you go, and I will just hand it to you, sir. Cool. Bye. And you know what? It is getting dark, so I'm going to close the shop and call it a day. That is a n that's not bad in terms of our uh, daily... I don't think keeping that is probably a good idea. Although, putting it on a wooden bench is also probably not, good, not a good idea. It doesn't burn the paper, which is useful to know. Uh, we'll put it in there. We'll probably go to... Uh, we'll probably buy some more ingots tomorrow, but I think for the time being we will simply go to bed. You feel tired and now it's day two. So what we'll do is we'll close that up and we will open the shop once more and let's see what we can make. Look at that. Twilight. It's actually not twilight. It's a uh, sunrise. It's not a terrible film series about vampires and other such things. I, c I can't say it's terrible. I haven't watched it, but um, I I've... Yeah. I think I know enough about it to uh, think that I don't want to watch it. Uh, not bashing it. I mean, if you like it, then fair enough. It's just, uh, you know, I pre prefer my vampires with more um, masquerades and bloodlines in them. Right, so they are coming towards it, and they're all very, very shoulder paddy. I mean, I think they went to the Space Marine School of armor wearing. Apart from this one's got a, a dot on, so maybe not. Or is that hair? 
Uh, it's Nen. It, it's Nadini. Uh, give me a great sword, please. No problem at all, madam. No problem at all. She said, please. That's what we like to see. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy um, some iron. One, two. No, we're not going to buy iron because it's very, very expensive. Um, we're not going to buy that iron. So we're going we're to buy copper. That's fine. Uh, copper ingots, two of. We will pl uh, actually... Might as well buy five of because... Ha! We've already got uh, one in the furnace and, you know, we do need to... That up. We, we, we know we're going to you know, have to refill the stock, so we'll shove all these in. Might as well keep them all in there. I don't think there's any limit apart from just how many you can physically fit in there. And it's that's heated, so we'll put that on there. And it was a great sword, wasn't it? I believe it was a great sword. Oh, there's spilling everywhere. That's not something you want to hear. Uh, that's heated as well. I believe it was. It is great sword. No problem at all. We just need to change this to make sure we are doing a sword. Yes, it is a blade. And bang. Go on, bang, bang, bang. So you can actually do it quicker if you time it correctly. Oh, okay, I've changed the blade size there. That's the one we want. And quench it, bring it inside, and uh, we'll need to fit it with a double-handed guard, two-handed, and also a grip of two hands. Place the order for seven. I don't want to stand underneath that because I think it'll be a horrible bang and I'll probably... Get hurt. Pick that up. So, put on there. Oh, good grief. That's really, really <laughs> dangerous. Hey, hold this. <laughs> there you go. And, oh, level up, apparently. P. Ah, so name not implemented. Is that my name or is it just not in the game? I have a feeling it's the latter. So we can increase strength, which is increases hits on anvil every five levels in strength. Uh, increases movement speed, plus 6% every level. And charisma increases sale price. Well, obviously we're going to be sale price. And uh, yeah, there you go. So I'm guessing you gain experience for everything you do. Yeah. Um, I like the way you can click on it and uh, you get little bonuses. I didn't know about that. Cool. And you can clear it as well. But, uh, oh, looks like we've got one more custom coming along. Let's see what they want. We've got enough uh, We've got enough copper to make whatever they want, although a copper weapon would be fairly terrible. Uh, so, Stuart, I'm here to pick up that one-handed, one-hand sword, one-handed sword. So, one-handed sword would be a blade and hammer, so it is one, two... Oh, it's cooled. It's cooled. That's why. Turn that back on. While I'm doing that, I will go for a one-hand grip. And I assume, perhaps wrongly, that you'll also need a guard on there. I'll just I'll just order order them both while we're here. And we'll put that there. And then we'll just start going. One. Two. Yeah, so you can, you can time it. There is actually... Should we change it? See, that's a... That is a different type of blade, but it looks pretty cool, so we'll have that one. So we'll have that there. Uh, one-handed sword, regular blade, is one-handed. Yeah, it does have. It does actually have a have a guard on it, so we'll bring the guard in and... Uh, oh, missed it. And we'll pick that up. Use the scroll wheel. It's very, very difficult to judge the distances. Oh, God, I nearly stabbed myself in the... Wedding vegetables, which I wouldn't want. And he's off. Bye. Come again. Tell everybody about Harkwright's Hark General Store. Obviously the best store ever. Uh, right, so I'm going to close up shop, to be honest with you, because I, I want a little explore. So, firstly, I want to see where these guys are going. So, it looks like there's lots of people wandering from one portal to another. So, let's have a... Oh, God. Speed. Come on. This guy has obviously skipped every day possible. Leg day, arm day, chest day, cardio... Everything and also the portal doesn't work for us because apparently it doesn't. And are you going to go through with your very, very, very pink hair? Yeah, you have gone through that. Well done. Right, so we can't leave here. This is obviously purgatory for blacksmiths, so that's fine, I guess. Nothing we can do about it. This is either called not for sale yet or it is simply not for sale and we can't get inside. So no, looks like we are not going in there. So that's our nice little place over there. That is... Apparently a giant wandering around the back, right? I mean, I'm all for nice views and wildlife, but that's maybe going a little bit too far. So we're not going to have a tussle with him. However, we will go over here and check this house out. It doesn't like it's got a door, so we should be able to just wander in. I wonder if we can stop these guys. 
Halt! Nope, nope, they just shake the head and go past. Fine. So, we'll go in here and... What have we got? Nothing. Ooh! Crystal unknown. Do I hit it? Do I pick it up? Ugh! That's weird, it's got... I don't like that. Right, and there's the end of that game. So, uh, that was my little blacksmith shop. <laughs> what was that all about? This is Dark Crystal Fear. When I hold it, my screen goes all dodgy, and then some weird boogeyman turns up. Alright, fine. That's... Uh, maybe maybe you can make magic weapons, or maybe it's just an easter egg. I have no idea. So, yeah. Apparently, when we pick it up, our screen goes all weird. Look at that. There's some weird artifacting going on in the middle of the river, probably to do with reflections. Actually, no, it's not. It looks like it's a... Can we swim? Yes, we can swim. I was going to say, is it like GTA? Or old GTA where you just die? That is a crystal unknown. We can fling it. And for whatever reason, they don't obey the laws of gravity. Which is the least of my worries when one picks it up and... You know, you pick it up and it causes the boogeyman to appear. But yeah, uh, do I really want to carry this crystal fear around? I'm guessing there's more crystals to pick up. Not that I know what they actually do. I have no idea what they do. Oh, it looks like you can, like, bump into them. Look at that. You can, like, bump into them and they sort of spin around. Um, maybe you take them to the portal. Maybe you can fuse them into different weapons. Maybe they will... I don't know. I I'm just going to put it in front of this guy and see if he picks it up. Nope. Do you want one of these? Nope. But it went through his head. So he got, he got it anywhere. Yeah, maybe you can produce, like, magical weapons later on. I don't know what the game's going to go to if it goes to anything. Obviously, these prototypes very often stay prototypes and don't go any further because, well... Quite honestly, a lot of them don't really have any legs in them. I mean, where do you go from here? Do you make more magical weapons? Do you, do you go for, like, buying and selling? The fact is, though, that I can see... Well, I personally am probably going to get... Well, I already am a little bit uh, tired of the whole bat a couple of things mechanic. I mean, it's a very, very simple crafting system. There's no major reason to do it other than... Uh, you know, the moment-to-moment -moment is simply picking stuff up from the furnace and whacking it. And doing that over and over and over and over again is... Well, there's really no reward for it other than it, it doing in the in the art of doing it anyway. But uh, maybe crafting magical weapons might be interesting and different swords and seals and armor and doing things custom and maybe having different effects and different types of people. Who knows? I mean, you could go anywhere with this one, but uh, as it stands, yeah. It's alright, it's a little mess around, isn't it? And it's like I say, it's pay what you want. You can support the developer if you do so desire and check the game out. Uh, links are in the description, so you can uh, have a look. And that is it. I'm going to close up shop and go to bed. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for other games, by all means, put them in the comments, and I will check them out. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. And good night.